In this video, I'm going to talk about that how can you do a year to date or a YTD calculation in Power BI. Let's start. All right, I'm in Power BI and that's where I have set up a very simple matrix or a pivot table. So we have year and the month coming from the calendar table and we have a total sales measure already created. If you want to take a look at the data model, at the back we have one fact table, we have calendar table, we have the products table, all linked through one to many relationship. Now, let's just say that I want to calculate YTD. There are two formulas built into Power BI to be able to calculate YTD. The first formula is going to be, let's say, the total YTD. So I can make a new measure and that formula is going to be, let's say, sales YTD. I can just write that. And the formula for that is going to be total YTD. That's the formula. Now, in the first part of the formula, you write YTD of what? So I can say, I would like to find the YTD for total sales. Then it says, hey, what are your dates? That means, do you have a calendar date table set up already? So yes, I have already got that up. That is going to be my calendar table date column and then close the bracket and press enter. You can then drag this measure over to your visual and that is actually going to calculate YTD. The second method is going to be using the dates YTD function. So I can say something like, hey, I would like to calculate total sales and that is going to be done. Then the formula that I will use to be able to calculate YTD is going to be the dates YTD function. So dates YTD, which is going to be my calendar dates and that's all about it. Close the bracket and press enter. This is another way to calculate YTD. The answer is going to be pretty much the same and that's the answer. You're going to find that once you find the YTD, the values are going to spill over to the months which do not even have the sales. This is called the spillover effect and I have done a video in the past to help you understand that how can you tackle that. I will leave a link and you should definitely take a look at that particular video. Sometimes you may also want to find the financial year YTD in your pivot table. So what you can do is make a small tweak to your data model and to your formula. The first tweak that I would like to make is in the calendar table. You can see that at the moment I have financial years displayed right here and my year runs from April to March. That's the way we do financial year in India. So what I have done to my calendar table is that I have done a few additional calculations to be able to create the financial months, the financial year, and a couple of additional columns as well. In case you would wanna know how to do this, I've done a video in the past and I'm gonna leave a link to that particular video. That is change number one. Change number two is that at the moment, our YTD formula is continuing to do the YTD up until the month of December and then it resets to the month of Jan once again. That is incorrect. I want to start with the month of April and reset in the month of March. How do I do that? I'm going to go back to my sales YTD function and here as another input, I'm going to mention the year and date, which is going to be March 31st. So I'm going to write three, which is the number for March and 31st, which is nothing but my date. Once I do that and I commit to my formula, you're going to see that the totals do reset from April to March and that is nothing but my YTD as per financial year. Before you go, don't forget to check out my courses on Power BI and also do not forget to subscribe to my email list, which is where I share incredibly awesome videos that I create and a couple of other things around Power BI. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. See you around.